that borders on so many of you. There used to be a saying that the evil that men do live after them. But I think when you look at it from the other side, it is now that the evil that men do lives with them. Not just after them, not lives with them. And from where we read from the scripture, the Bible says, they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. When you live your life in the flesh, you dwell in the flesh, you bet in the flesh, you eat in the flesh, you swim in the flesh, you do everything in the flesh because your mind is centered on the flesh. But when your mind is in the spirit, everything about you will be of the spirit. How do I mean? Now listen, I said it last week. I said there are so many people who are married in the physical and spiritually they are still married but a lot of them do not really know but today i like you to understand that when you begin to live and mind the things of the flesh when everything about you is centered on the flesh like watching the pornograph the pornographic or the porno or whatever you call it Watch, look at Facebook and you begin to see naked pictures, videos, and you concentrate your mind on all of these things I have said. You are writing love letter 
to the marine spirit to possess you. Now, let's look at it. There are some places you cannot go as bodily as a Christian, as a child of God. Because you see yourself as a Christian born again, baptized and all of that. That is the bodily exercise. But we are looking at the spirit man. Naturally, physically, there are places you cannot enter as a Christian. There are some places you cannot go as a Christian. You understand what I'm saying? But when you not sleep in your dream and you not beginning to walk into the house of a native doctor, it is not that the native doctor is coming to meet you in your house. You by yourself, in your dream, in your spiritual life, your spirit man now carry you now to the house of a native doctor and you now sit down in this crime in the shrine of a native doctor it means that your spirit man is polluted two if you now begin to chase little girls or you now begin to see yourself having sex with animal in the dream and that is something you cannot do normally physically naturally even as a christian but by the time you now sleep as a christian and you now beginning to by yourself carry yourself and beginning to make love have sex with a mad woman with somebody who is bleeding of blood and by the time you are done and you now wake up even as a christian and you now beginning to see that what have i done what has just happened you have to do what check your spirit you are not in the spirit you are only bearing the name forget the name as a christian forget the title the accolades we are talking about what comes out of your spirit man and that is what the bible says the spiritual the, 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 the man who lives in the flesh do mind everything about him is always what the flesh and once that flesh beginning to live in you you now beginning to also do what as a pity there are so many sins a lot of people indulging even as a christian I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So many things you indulge, you get yourself, you indulge. The most common one is what I just said now. Every one of you have Android phone. But you don't skip when you see people making love. You don't skip it when you see Polo on your phone. You have time to begin to watch. And as you are doing that, what happens? You are polluting the spirit man of God in you. Now, when you live in the spirit, you will see yourself as a spiritual man now. Even while you sleep and dream, you begin to heal people. You go to the hospital and you see yourself and beginning to lay hands on people and you just begin to see people getting their healing, sights are being restored and all of that. Or you see yourself, you are, you are in, a, in a crusade ground and you are crap gather and you are preaching. That tells you that you are right in what? In your spirit. But when your spirit by yourself now beginning to carry you and beginning to do things you are not supposed to do, you need to check your spirit man. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You need to do what? You need to check your spirit. Everybody sleep and dream. It all depends on what you encounter in your dream. It all depends on what you do, what encounter. And 
and have just told you now that take note from today that when you dream as a child of God, as a Christian, born again, baptized, I wouldn't say filled with the Holy Spirit because when you are filled with the Spirit, you are not supposed to encounter any of these things. I wrap up the days. And somebody called me. A Christian. He called me just yesterday here. And he said, Daddy, please explain to me. I don't know what is happening to my spiritual life. And I said, What is it? He said, If I would be believing. I said, Why? Well, you don't say that it's it. He said he was sleeping and he saw himself as a Christian making love to an animal. To an animal. Dog, to be precise. He said, Daddy, and he started crying. I said, Stop crying. Now let's begin to look at it. Before then, have you ever encountered so? He said, No, no. I said, okay, I'm beginning to take him through the road map that I know will lead him to that area, to that extent. I said, have you beginning to watch pornographic or sexy and what of that? He said, I just started, I just bought new phone. The one I had before, I don't have access. Since I bought new phone about two weeks ago, I started watching it. Then I knew where he opened the door for the enemy to do what? To attack his spiritual life. What the enemy is looking for in your life is your crown. Is what? Your crown. Is what? Your glory. Is what? The grace that God, the garments of honor, that God has worn you. That is what the enemy is looking for. And if you are not careful, if you are not careful, if you do not mind the things of the spirit and begin to mind the things of the flesh, you will continue to darken your destiny. Because I have said, and I ramp, ramp up with it, and I have said, there are places and some places and some certain things you cannot do as a Christian. Why? Because you are a Christian. You call yourself a Christian. There are some certain things you cannot do. But when you now sleep, I'm beginning to see yourself doing it. Check your life. Something is wrong. It's time to investigate. Stand to your feet.